Uh, Talal Baya is the CEO and co-founder who's been in the region since the early 90s and has experience in putting out Sharia compliant structured products before he became an entrepreneur. So he's here to provide a bit of a technology showcase into his company. If you could welcome Talal, thank you. Hey, Grab, everyone. Let's wait for the green light. Yeah? All right, just before, just before I start, just to give you a disclaimer, so I'm connected to an iPhone that's connected to a router that's connected to Apple TV, and then I'm airplane to the screen. So a lot of things might go wrong, so <laughs> I just request your patience. Um, so we'll get right to it. So this is what your health insurance policy looked like in 1980. Right. This is what your health insurance policy still looked like in 2000. Probably this is what your health insurance policy still looks like today. Yeah. Unless you're a Bezat customer, of course. Right. Um, so I've been suffering from back pain for a month. And after two weeks of hearing my wife nag to go to the doctor, I finally decided to do so yesterday. And my experience was as simple as opening Bezat benefits and then typing in what I was feeling. Just give it a second. Perfect. So I just typed in back pain and they searched around 10,000 symptoms and procedures that I could select from. Once I selected back pain, instead of going to WebMD to find out what kind of specialist I should see for back pain and probably convincing myself I have a fatal disease in the process, Bezat just presented a list of all the different specialists that could be relevant and told me what they actually mean. So I selected orthopedic and then it started searching my health insurance policy to tell me what benefits could be relevant to it. So for example, it told me that for physiotherapy, I need pre-authorization. It told me that I'm covered up to 10 sessions and that I have to pay 50 dirhams per session. I then proceeded to browse through the other benefits and they even told me that sports are excluded. So I made sure not to tell the doctor I hurt my back playing football. Naturally, Okay, so that's one of the things I can go So naturally, um, naturally I wanted to see where I could go with my health insurance policy to get treated. So what Bezad did was it searched around, depending on your policy, searched around 30,000 medical facilities around the world and presented a list of what hospitals are covered through my direct billing network, as well as the ones that cover that specialist. So I chose that Zahra Medical Hospital, private medical center because it was right across the street from us. And once I did so, I wanted to know a bit more about this specific facility. So I opened up the details screen and it told me the opening hours, if there's any specific exclusions in that facility. Um, and then it let me order a, a cab to the hospital. And all I had to do at that point was just click, call the hospital and book my appointment. So this is just one of the many features we're developing to modernize employee benefits and help employers save time in the process. And everything at Bezad is about the customer experience and Tarek will tell you what our future looks like. So. Yeah, perfect. So. Perfect. So basically, as we take a look at Bezat, what we really are is a company that provides insurance services and HR solutions. So health insurance is really the way we monetize the business, but the way we create customer stickiness is by solving problems related to what HR teams face across SMEs uh, in the region. And really the backbone of our business is the technology platform Bezat Benefits. It has many features, including Bezat Benefits itself, which Talal just talked through. Uh, but really the key feature as we think about our business is um, the trend of the industry uh, in general in terms of the employee experience is really migrating to mobile. And I thought I showed you guys the mobile app, uh, but really as we think about why mobile, when we take a look on a global level uh, with the mainframes starting in the 1950s on a uh, population standpoint, the penetration is very low. But when we take a look four or five years out of uh, where we stand today, really 70% of the world's population is gonna have access to a mobile device. 
Now, there's also another phenomenon, which is with these devices, we're more connected, right? So we spend over 50% of our time consuming media across many different devices. Uh, really, mobile is the one that's picking up. So as a human being, today we get about 64 notifications. What that means is our attention span has gone from 12 seconds down to 8 seconds. If you guys want to feel really good about yourself, a goldfish has 10 second uh, attention span, so we're really excelling as human beings today. Uh, but really what we had to do is say, you have an employee base that's not really engaged in the HR technology because it's very computer based and the trend is moving to mobile. So we looked internally at BayZap. And we, when we just give you a snapshot of the company, I mean, we've grown the business uh, over 300% in the past year. We're mostly millennials, so a lot of the people in your organizations are millennials. And really, when we hired our HR person, Sevla, uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, she was facing the challenge. How do you get a technology company engaged in HR and HR solutions? So like any person joining a startup, Sevla ran into the office. This is awesome. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, world dreams of conquering benefit structures, medical policies, employee onboarding. This, is, this was really what she was focused on. Now the reality is very different. Uh, you know, that smile quickly turned upside down as she realized that a lot of what we do today in the SME space is paper-based, right? When you think about your HR person, they spend about 42% of their time doing admin tasks, whereas that could be reallocated and redeployed doing other things. So essentially, as we took a look internally at Bayzat, what we decided to develop was a full suite HR enterprise software. So what you see here is our ability to extract information from documents that exist in the organization today. So one of the key pain points for HR teams is how do they get their data from paper-based uh, solutions and onto uh, their technology platforms. And a lot of that is done manually today. So what Bayzat enables you to do is scan things like your residency visa, your Emirates ID, your passport, and immediately extract all that information and put it in a cloud-based solution. And the beautiful thing is, we're not only thinking about the employer, we're also thinking about the employee in the sense that uh, everything is a two-value proposition. Now, what this enables HR teams at SMEs, whereas you know, traditionally you have the Oracles, you have the SA SAPs, and they don't really have a solution that's tailored to them, that's cost-effective and that's manageable from a cloud-based standpoint. So here what you're looking at is what our HR admin person would see when they log into Days Out Benefits. Today, they'd be able to see how many employees they have, how many have expired documents, like residency visa, Emirates ID, and so on, and whose birthday it is today, you know, making sure that they're able to manage their entire employee uh, workforce. Now what we're doing here is really we're empowering HR teams to rethink about how they engage employees and how they reallocate their resources to value add services. Um, and as we rolled out these technologies and as we continue to expand these at benefits, uh, what we really see is HR teams are becoming much more engaged and this platform creates stickiness. So as we sell medical insurance, these customers become more sticky to base that. And the HR teams obviously are, are much happier because they can, uh, they can manage their benefits happily ever after. So that just gives you a snapshot of base that and, and how we're trying to revolutionize the SME space. Thank you very much. Thank you.